Hey everyone, Blaue Cat Cove here, and today we're gonna go over a way to use Lumia Stream through an OBS dock, a mobile phone, or even a tablet on both Android and iOS. Let's get started. So if we come over to Lumia Stream, you'll notice a new tab right here in the top right called Lumia Link. If we click that, you'll see we can download Lumia Stream Link on your mobile phone or open the link in a browser OBS dock. This works on both Google Play and the iOS App Store. So anything from a tablet to a phone, we got you covered. But if you don't want to use it on a phone, you can also connect with OBS. So I'm going to select this connection link, go to OBS. I'm going to go to Docs, Custom Browser Docs, and I'm going to call this Lumia Stream or Lumia Link. Doesn't matter, but the URL does matter. I'm going to paste in that URL we just got earlier, press apply. And just like that, we have our Lumia Link. So this is Lumia Link. It's just a controller for your Lumia Stream desktop app. So if I go to something like edit to make a new command, I can select this to, uh, let's say blue. We'll select a chat command and we'll select the value as blue. I'll press save. And now when I click this, my lights will turn blue. Now this could sit in OBS as mentioned. You could have it as just a floating dock as I'm doing right now. And you could use it on your mobile phone. Settings do not travel across devices. So you have certain settings on, you know, your OBS dock versus your mobile app. In the future, we will have a way to sync the two. But for now, everything's separate. So you can have multiple different tablets with different settings on, you know, one Lumia app. So you have your dock page where you can set it up however you like. You can set up different chat commands, different alerts that you want to trigger, studio items, maybe text to speech or chat bot, or even turning Lumia off or on really quick, as well as stream mode. But you get the idea you could create more pages if you press manage. So I can have one page as main, then one as secondary. And then on my secondary page, I can have different things on there. You get the idea you could just keep adding on to these different pages. The pages are, you know, limited by your imagination. Next up, you have your control page. So this is kind of what you're going to see inside of Lumia Streams Control Center. Under shortcuts, you'll see, you know, on and off, stream mode, default state clearing Q, fuse on off, and then you'll see your different commands like shout out, aqua, blue, pretty much everything you're gonna see inside of the control center shortcuts, you'll see here as well. Uh, so you can edit these, there's no way to, you know, do anything else except, you know, trigger them and that's it. So if I trigger pink, my lights will turn pink. Then you have your chat. So now I can just chat literally straight through my OBS doc or through my mobile phone, just saying something like, hey there, and you'll see it show up. My chat bot right now is Aha Cove, and that's why you see it. It says it's a custom chat bot, which we'll link to down in this video. So check out that custom chat bot video to have your own custom name inside of Lumia Stream. We also have a settings page where you can do things like vibrate on each new message. It's not really applicable on the OBS doc, but it is on the phone and tablets. Uh, you could show avatars in chat. So if you want to keep things clean, you could just you know clean up those avatars. Uh, and then you can also either chat as a bot or as yourself. So the only thing we have here in profile is being able to reset your profile from scratch, being able to log out in case you need to log into a different Lumia stream account. We will have more updates on this in the future. So keep this on the lookout and try to use it as much as possible. Thank you for coming. Check out all our tutorials. Make sure you subscribe and like, and we hope you have a luminous day.